बटविटपि समीपे भूमि भागे निषण्णम सकल मुनि जनानाम ज्ञान दातारमारात त्रिभुवन गुरुमीशम दक्षिणामूर्ति देवम जनन मरण दुख छेद दक्षम नमामि दिस इज द सेकंड स्टैंजा ऑफ दक्षिणामूर्ति स्तोत्र बटविटपि समीपे वट इज a banyan tree vitapi is a tree vata vitapi samipe nearby so basically dakshinamurti is shown as seated under an old banyan tree bhumi bhage nishannam nishannam means he is sitting bhumi bhage he is sitting on the soil under a banyan tree वट विटपि समीपे भूमि भागे निषण सकल मुनिजना सकल इज वेरियस सेवरल मेनी और हू एवर इज देर ऑल द सकल मुनिजना मुनि इज अर अ सेज सो दक्षिणामूर्ति इज द गुरु ऑफ द गुरु सो ऑल द सेजस एंड द सियर्स आर हिज डिसपल सकल मुनिजना Janana means many such sages, many such various types of sages. Sakala Muni Janana are all sitting nearby him. Jnana Data Aram Arath. Arath means nearby. They are all sitting nearby him, and he is the Jnana Data. He is giving knowledge. Every deity has his own speciality. This deity, Dakshina Murti, gives you knowledge. What knowledge? The knowledge of the self, the knowledge of the ultimate. So, Dakshina Murti becomes really important for people seeking spiritual clarity, the knowledge of the self. Vata vita pi sami pe bhumi bhage nishannam. Sakala muni jana nam jnana data aramarat. Tribhuvana guru mi sham. Tribhuvana bhuvana is a world tribhuvana the three worlds in hindu mythology the whole existence the universe is categorized as three worlds out of which the earth is the middle world so there is a world above there is a world below people can probably associate with hell and heaven but it's not so there are three different worlds even hell apparently in scriptures is a very beautiful place so it may be hell for you not for everyone so for example this earth itself is heaven for some and hell for many right some people are living very blissful lives so hell and heaven are not some physical places yes there are physical places out there but you need not categorize them as bad or good every place can be good or bad based on your karma but the whole cosmos for this existential universe is categorized as tribhuvana the three worlds in fact if you look at shiva shiva also does shiva's another name is tripurantaka the three cities of course in that earth is not involved it is a different existence where there were three different worlds which he antaka is he ends those three worlds so this three is the norm when they say tribhuvana it encompasses the whole universe tribhuvana guru misham tribhuvana guru so you are not dakshinamurti is not just the guru of this world he is the world he is the guru of the all the three worlds or this universe tribhuvana guru misham misham means the lord you are not a normal guru you are a guru guru of the gurus you are the lord tribhuvana guru misham dakshinamurti devam dakshinamurti devam the lord the god so you are the master or the guru of all the three worlds tribhuvana guru misham dakshinamurti devam janana marana dukha cheda daksham namami janana marana dukha so we need to understand when we think about dukha or sorrow suffering in life why is the suffering there because you were born very basic root cause answer in fact lot of people at some point 
correct people who are suffering extremely badly in life in this life this world they think death is a solution correct that's why you see so many attempts of suicide they think death is a solution death is no solution death is just the point where this life ends and it gives rise to the opportunity for the next life this is an unending cycle death doesn't solve any problems in fact this problems are all caused by life not death correct does that mean death is a solution no because death will lead to one more life one more birth this is unending until you realize you have atma gnana the cycle is unbreakable janana marana dukha so here this clause is very important because it says janana marana this is the cause of all suffering because you are suffering why because you are born why were you born because you died you will again die to be reborn again there will be suffering you might argue aren't there good times in life of course good times are there in life but nothing is permanent neither are bad times so your life is full of ups and downs ups and downs ups you are very happy downs you are very sad this life ends again one more life ups and downs ups and downs so here it is clear that dukha is not because of this life or your actions the whole the root cause of suffering is this unending cycle of life death life death birth death birth death until the cycle is broken you cannot get rid of suffering lot of people pray to god thinking their suffering will end god will do some miracle and their suffering will end recently i was hearing an example about jesus christ jesus christ was healing so many people when he was there in the physical body someone had asked some leprosy patient had come jesus christ had removed his sins and cured him of leprosy the question is what happened to him later next okay now you are cured now you have a healthy body what happened did he not die eventually everyone will die correct so are your problem solved you will again be reborn probably with again leprosy who knows based on your karma this life jesus has cured you of your leprosy that doesn't mean that your day to day affairs are all normal now yes leprosy one problem has been taken care of what about food what about water what about family politics what about office politics what about traffic what about diseases what about death correct yes god can perform miracles but are you interested only in the small miracles yes god can do small miracles for you most of the worship that happens is for small miracles god make me rich god cure this disease god my children are suffering with some diseases cure them yes god can do all this for you but is that all you want to ask that ultimate god who can do anything for you you are asking for peanuts yes he will throw those peanuts on your face but will your suffering end because of all this obviously your suffering is not going to end correct so here this line janana marana dukha the whole suffering is because of janana and marana if you really want to finish off suffering you have to finish off the cycle of birth and death janana marana dukha cheda cheda means ruptures dakshinamurti can rupture your janana marana dukha life death the pain caused by life and death and these cycles that can be ruptured cheda destroyed janana marana dukha cheda daksham namami so o daksha i salute to you because you are the remover of the suffering you are not just the remover of suffering you are the remover of the root cause of the suffering which is life and death this is your second stanza of dakshinamurti stotram if you see the first and the second stanzas are still focusing on who dakshinamurti is his appearance his surroundings how he is seated where he is seated how does how his disciples are who his disciples are in the first stanza we have seen he accepts only those with brahmanishtha as disciples so people asking for peanuts it is difficult to get dakshinamurti's blessings because he is accepting as his disciples 
only those people who are in Brahmanishtha, which means you don't have any other desire but the desire of self-realization. So with this, the second stanza of Dakshinamurti Stotram is done. Until the third stanza, see you guys. Bye-bye.